Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Solo RuneScape Challenge. Um, this one's going to be pretty short, even though there's still quite a bit of stuff to go over. Um, I've basically been playing this account since episode 1, uh, pretty much non-stop. And I'm getting to the point where, not I'm, I'm not getting bored, don't worry, but um, I'm getting to the point where I kind of feel like training on 07 a little bit. Just because all I've been doing is fishing, and I feel like that account is just so close to finishing, I need to do a little training on there. So, this account, what I decided is my next sort of big short-term goal is going to be getting 90 rune crafting. Um, I'm going to be doing it in the rune span, obviously, and the goal with that is to be able to get into player on ports, because I might as well start doing that as quickly as possible. Um, and the other point of that is to get a greater runic staff. I obviously need a 75 mage before I can even use that. Um, but once I can, that's going to be one of the better staffs I can use, and then I don't have to, you know, like, try to get a drop and, and be able to use that weapon. I pretty much have one for free right off the bat. So that's basically the reason why I decided runecrafting is going to be my, my big goal right now. Um, now obviously that means that there's not going to be... The next video will probably be in two days or so. I probably won't be able to runecraft, like, just straight up, just for the whole time. I'll probably do a little bit of other stuff, um... But just to let you guys know, that's going to be the majority of my progress on this account, so if you're expecting videos from me, most likely it'll be 2007 videos. This one um, will take a little bit until I can start doing some, you know, a little more fun stuff on this account. Um, but basically, what I've been doing over the, pat the last couple days is I got all my skills up to a point where they're all, like, relatively good. They're all 20+, plus except for Divination, um, which, you know... Divination, I just have so such a hard time getting motivation to do that. The big, the biggest thing, really, the reason I'd want to get Divination is for the uh, the porters that bank bones, um, just for prayer, so that I can actually like train prayer rather than having to pick up each bone by itself and, and bury it, because it makes combat take a really long time. That's really the only reason I contemplated leveling Divination. For that reason, I haven't really been doing it. Um, but all the other skills I've been working on, construction, I got a lot of progress in. Same with uh, smithing as well. And the main reason I was able to get both of those was because of the protein. It's funny because I think they're called protein. I think that's how you'd pronounce P-R-O-T-E-A-N. Um, I think it's just a tr like protein bar was the with the, the smithing ones, and I thought that was pretty funny. Um, protein plank, not as funny, but... Um, that's the main reason why I got my smithing and, and construction up as high as they are. Um, so that's pretty nice. I'm, since I'm doing the kind of challenge, a lot of people, I've looked up some like Max Cape from Scratch series and stuff like that. A lot of people don't allow themselves to buy stuff from vendors in, in EOC. Um, I'm not going to go that far because, I mean, the main thing is for runes and stuff, people think that's kind of too easy if you could just buy all your runes from the, uh, from the stores. The way I'm looking at it, since I'm training runecrafting first anyway, <laughs> it's not really a big deal for me. Like, if I need gnats, I'll probably runecraft them myself um, when I get 91, just because double gnats might even be, you know, better for money-making-wise for that than going around to the stores and buying them. Um, so for that reason, I'm, I'm not going to stop myself from buying from vendors. <laughs> I think that's, like, going a little overboard. Um, and the other thing that I did research as well, rule-wise, now that we're on the topic of rules, I guess, is... Um, there is a couple quests and challenges and stuff where I need to do mini games. There's a quest where I need to do a pest control game. So for that reason, I'm going to do that pest control game, but I'm not going to spend any points or do anything with the points that I get from it. Um, and I'm only going to do the one game. I'm not going to go past one. So for that reason, it doesn't not really cheating very much. In fact, it, that's almost the opposite of cheating. It's kind of like taking taking extra time to really get nothing from it. So um, I, I decided that wouldn't be a problem. Um, the, the steel and creation thing, I'm still kind of trying to decide, so let me know if you guys think, like, based around the way that I'm trying to make this account and the idea that no one should be able to benefit from me, um, I'm just wondering if you guys think steel and creation should be allowed, because it, I don't think anyone benefits from me being there. I don't benefit from anyone else particularly. Um, hopefully when I'm there, I'm not getting killed too much, because that would... It, but at the same time, even if I am, it's only benefiting them. You know, it's not benefiting me at all, so... I think stealing creation would be acceptable, and I do have a daily challenge to do stealing creation. Um, so I think I'm going to at least get that daily challenge out of the way. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, that stealing creation would be fine under the rules. I hope so. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, as for the rest of the progress, I basically I got 50 attack just to be able to use a rune. There's no rune 2H vendors that I could find, so... I've just been using a rune one-handed sword, and it's been somewhat effective. It's kind of kind of crappy though, so 
Um, I'm still kind of testing around to see what I should do with that. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for that, by the way. Um, and really what it comes down to is questing was a huge part of what I've been doing. So I can go ahead and put up on the screen like a few quests that I've did, that I've done, <laughs> that I've did. A um, few quests that I've done, basically I didn't record them all because a lot of quests I didn't even realize they were about to end. They just sort of ended and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then also a lot of quests, I don't think it's, you know, if I'm doing Death Plateau and Troll Strongholds, like why show you that I completed Death Plateau? Because duh, <laughs> I needed to to complete Troll, troll Stronghold. So, like, that kind of stuff, I, I didn't record all of them, but there's quite a few quests that I've done, and that gave me a lot of squeal spins. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get very much cash. Um, you guys can't see the, the way that my screen is right now. I didn't, I forgot to change uh, the RuneScape resolution, but um, my cash stack's only at 275k now, which is <laughs> way lower than it was. A lot of that is because of training um, the construction. That took a lot and a lot of money. And I believe I bought I bought something from some vendor somewhere that cost quite a bit of money. Um, the rune sword obviously cost some, but I think I had that last episode already. Um, so I'm trying to remember exactly where all that money went into, but not too big of a deal because the way that I'm looking at the way my account's going to go um, in the near future is I won't need very much cash. The biggest thing really that I need cash for soon is going to be the uh, the dragon weapons when I get 60 attack. Um, but I'm not really worried about that right now, especially because I'm focusing more on mage. I think that mage is, is a better focus for me just because it's like harder to train and there's more stuff that I unlock with mage as I level um, to be able to do with the account since it's so low. So that's the main reason why I've been focusing on mage rather than melee. Um, and I don't really think there's anything else to go over. Um, basically quest is what I've been up to, runecrafting is what I'm going to be up to. Um, hopefully this won't take too long. I'm basically going to be playing 07 like I normally would and then just runecrafting in the background. So for that reason, runecrafting is probably going to go a lot slower than I would hope. Um, but at least it allows me to play 07 and it's pretty nice <laughs> whenever I play EOC. I've, I've had a couple times where I've played EOC you know, just for a day or two. And then when I go back to 07, it feels so much nicer. I'm like enjoying the game so much for like five hours you know, when I log back in. So that's another cool thing about this account is it sort of gives me more motivation to keep playing 07 too. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys won't have to wait too long for another progress video on this account. Um, but if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and do that so you can watch 07 videos as well because that's sort of the main thing I'm doing. This is just sort of a side project. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, have an excellent day. Keep on gaming.